Howdy everybody, Baron Blackbird coming to you with some more Darkfire Heroes content. Yes, I do a daily item review of the sh items offered in the in-game shop. However, we are going doing an arena primer here today. With Global Launch here, there are a lot of new players that will be coming in and it's a good idea for them to know and avoid some of the mistakes that maybe some of us did. Now, the arena is right up here in the upper right hand section of your screen. It will unlock at level eight for you to play. One of the nice things about the arena is it costs no energy. Now over here in the campaign mode, it costs energy to go through campaign. It also costs energy to go through the elemental dungeons. However, the arena costs no energy and has a ton of benefits. So let's get to it. There are two modes in the arena race. There's castle conquest and there's hero race. And we'll go over both of them and all of the benefits that you can get from them. Keep in mind as we go through this, this is for new players with a small cadre of heroes and the mid and late game strategies used for um, arena or PVP, if you will, um, change. So here in Castle Conquest, we are basically uh, playing against another player or possibly a bot, depending on the availability of other players in your bracket. And you are racing to get to their castle while they are racing to yours. Now, if we click on the little eye here, it's going to give us some information about how this plays out. And this basically only applies to some of the early gameplay. Uh, by mid to late game, the strategies are going to change. However, what happens is as you are moving forward, you are going to be presented with minions coming at you and there will be towers, much like some other tower defense games. As you take down the opponent's towers, your minions will level up. And as you kill the other player's heroes, you will get a, um, a large minion. Now you need to kill the other player's heroes a total of five times. Now that might be killing the same hero five times. It might be killing the other heroes once each for five. However you get to five hero kills on the other side, you get a large minion. <laughs> Pardon me. And then once you get to the other end of the map, you attack the player's castle. And once you take that down, you win the match. Now, as I said, mid to late game, that strategy changes, but that's basically what uh, this race uh, consists of. Now, the hero race over here, it is a side-by-side -side race, you against another player or again, a bot, and you are racing to the end of the raceway, really. You're both presented with the same mobs, same towers, etc. It's just whoever gets there quicker. Now. One thing that a lot of new players miss, and I was one that missed that as well, is hero skills can be used in your lane and your spells can be used in your lane. However, spells can also be used in your opponent's lane. And that's talks about it right here. It says you can only use hero powers in your own lane and you can target your opponent's lane with spells. So you can harass the other, uh, the other player by slowing them down, using crowd control techniques, things like that. Again, um, when you are uh, in this mode and when you're in the Castle Conquest mode, your heroes, when they die, they are on a respawn timer and the more times they die, the longer that respawn timer is going to be. Therefore, when picking heroes to come into the arena or PVP, healers and healing spells are pretty much no bueno. Don't bring them, don't use them, we don't want them here. So let's look at the heroes. These are the heroes that I particularly use in Arena. These are not the best by any stretch of the imagination. However, some of them are very good. It's more of the philosophy of the heroes that I am choosing here. Now, I'm only level 14. I'm still a uh, early game player in my opinion. <clears throat> I take a tank. So let's talk about our tanks. Um, Otho is considered probably one of the best tanks for Arena due to his jumping ability. Um, part of, remember, part of racing is, is getting ahead. You want to get to the end first. So you want to you want to push forward, okay? So Otho is a very good tank for that. Uh, Raybert is a good tank for a campaign. However, uh, his primary uh, ability is a healing aura. And remember, healing is really no use to us here in the races. Now, as far as the other heroes I use, <clears throat> I use a couple of AoE heroes and I use some more uh, dedicated single fire type of heroes. So my single fire type hero is Adeline, um, has a sniper shot for doing a lot of damage to a single target. I use Josie, which is considered a very good arena character. Um, explosive arrow, basically he shoots an arrow which does a lot of AoE damage. So we have, uh, or we have a single shot and AoE there. The other AI, AoE I use is Nina, 
and her Reign of Arrows, which you should be familiar with if you're an MMO player or a fantasy player at all. And then I use Lorenzo, considered another good arena um, character. One of the reasons they're good at arena is their protection is off, off the charts. And protection is the stat which determines how much CC affects that particular hero. And that's why that's important. Okay, that is the team I'm currently using right now. Now let's go ahead and uh, run through one of these. We're gonna do Castle Conquest here. Now you'll notice it says Superior Hero Level Plus Six, and this is an Air Essence if you're new to the game. Basically what this is saying is that any hero you bring in here is going to be six levels higher than what they are currently. However, keep in mind that the abilities of the heroes and the synergy between your heroes is typically more important than uh, the superior uh, level here. Now, to see what type of element your hero is, you can simply click on their card over in the hero section. Here, we have a water hero, or you can look at their background. Red for fire, uh, we have blue for water, yellow for light, black for dark, and this light colored blue here is for air. Over here in Castle Conquest, we have some loadouts down here at the bottom over there. You can have saved loadouts. We now have eight lo loadouts we can use and save. And let's go ahead and play a game. And we'll talk, talk with you. We're waiting for a match here to come up. It could be a bot, it could be a real person. A bot typically has a, if I remember correctly, it's verb noun noun type of name and they're not in a clan. Now this is going to be a player here and not a bot. Win or lose, we're just going to talk our way through this. I'm not really concerned about the winning or losing at this point. Okay, here's our castle, and we're going to go forward. Here are a couple of towers here the opponent is going to try and take down to level up their minions. I want to take down their towers to level up my minions. Here are their towers here, here, and here. You can see their heroes are here, here, and a smattering in here. I'll just go ahead and throw down some damage there. I've been CC'd. I'm... I'm Typically, I would be focusing on their towers and their heroes and pushing forward. However, we're just kind of talking our way through this here. I'm just going to throw down our abilities here. I'm not too concerned about what's going on here. Whether they win or I win, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to push them back just a little bit for the fun of it. There we go. That's us moving forward. Now, it says I have a giant minion, and that's because I've noticed I haven't taken down their towers, but I have killed their heroes a total of five times. I'm going to take down one of their towers here to bring our... Okay, now my minions are leveled up because I took down one of their towers. We talked about that already. Another giant minion, or another giant minion has been spawned. I'm going to throw a sludge up here to slow down how fast their reinforcements are showing up. Oh, connection problems. Fantastic. And take down. Now my minions have leveled up again. Now you can just start to see their castle right here. I'm going to go ahead and push forward some. So we can end this match. I'm gonna have uh, Otho jump way up there. Now any minions that come out are going to be attacking Otho, which means my folks are gonna have a chance to push forward here. And we can start doing some damage to their actual castle. And we're gonna start targeting the castle here to take it out. And I'm gonna say, well played. And there's our victory. Okay, that is the basics and that of Castle Conquest. As I said, um, later on in mid to late game, strategies definitely do change, but this is just to help new folks out, okay? Now, what we won here was 13 trophies, very important. Uh, first play today, I've received 10 keys for that. I got the first hit on the castle, received two keys for that, and I destroyed their uh, just tower destroyed for five, the victory for 15. Now the total down here says zero, and that's because I've already earned my allotment of keys for this time period. Okay, we're gonna go say and collect. I did receive 13 trophies though. Now, notice down here it says plus 20 in two hours and 23 minutes. Arena keys available, 20, okay? Apparently that, that must have ticked over right at that particular time, okay? When we do hero race, we will actually earn these keys here. And these keys here give us key chests, which you can see right down here. Now remember, I talked about how there are a lot of advantages to doing arena, okay? One, you're going to win trophies. Two, you get keys. Three, it doesn't take any energy, and earning trophies gets you stuff, all right? Now there's more to it than that. Now I have earned, or won, all of those items that you've seen, gold, and chests, and gems, 
uh, gear chests, spell chests, a gold chest, on and on. And this costs no energy, folks. No energy, okay? So you definitely wanna do arena. It's gonna give you a lot of advantages here. The other thing it will do is wins in the arena, you need to be part of a clan, wins in the arena will help improve the clan chest that you receive. The more wins that your clan receives, the better the chest you get. And they are nice chests once you get to the upper epsilon of the gold chests, which start at seven. So seven, eight, nine, and 10 clan chests are gold. Very nice rewards in those. Oh, actually, you know what? I only know about seven, eight, nine. Now, 10 may be even a better chest. I don't know. I haven't earned one of those yet. Okay. Again, that's another advantage of doing that. So you do want to get into a clan for that particular reason as well. Those clan chests are awarded on Mondays and you have to have contributed at least one win from the arena to be rewarded with the clan chest. And that's something the game does automatically. It's not something that your guild leaders are allocating. It's just that you have to have a win in the arena in order to get the clan chest. Okay, let's go over hero race now. We've already discussed it a bit. We're gonna go ahead and play. I'm using the exact same team for it. We'll go through this one. Then we'll talk about some of the uh, other, okay, this is gonna be another player here. We'll talk about some of the advantages again of the arena. They, oh, this is rogues. Oh, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> rogues is a, rogues, ah, okay. We're gonna play a little more. I would like to pay attention to this actually and win this, but here you can see we're side by side and we are gonna progress forward here. Um, now, if you begin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inactive here. I should be showing inactive here in just a minute. I think I actually lost them a little while ago as well. If you don't uh, do any actions or participate at all, you will go inactive and you will eventually forfeit the match. So you do need to do some actions here. We're basically both racing forward through the same types of mobs. You can see we have groups of mods, mobs to take out and then we have some single mobs to take out. Now, one of the differences here in this mode is when we take out this particular tower here, it, we don't have any minions that are going to level up. Now I'm going to freeze the other player here. There, I was able to drop a spell into their lane, so you can you can use your spells in the other lane. However, you can't use any hero abilities over there, okay? But you can uh, harass them. I'll move forward a little bit here, so we don't totally. Now they've they've cc'd me here. They've slowed me down a little bit here in my lane. They're off the map, but you, I could maybe harass them just a little bit there. Chances are they're going to take down the final tower before we get up there to see it. Now, one of my heroes has died here, and you can see the respawn timer is ticking away. I have a freeze, so I am going to harass them again for the fun of it. So you can use your spells in the other lane. I, hopefully we can see the end tower here before, and there's the end tower right there. Whoever takes that tower down first wins the match. There is not a lot we're going to do here. Just go ahead and fire off my spells, and I'll say well played, there we go. So ways to spot a bot, now that was not a bot, but ways to spot a bot is their name, I believe is typically verb, noun, noun, and they won't be in a clan. They will tell you well played, and they will say good, um, have fun at the beginning of the match. And if you take down your tower midway before they take down theirs, sometimes they'll throw out a little angry emote at you, but it is a bot. Now we just lost 24 trophies here. However, the loss, we still were awarded five keys, and here's a total of five keys. I'm gonna go and collect that. We dropped down to 15 keys here. Now, uh, as far as uh, earning awards through the trophies here, once you've earned the reward, even if you drop below that by losing trophies, you still can access the reward and redeem it. Okay. That is basically the arena primer there, although you can look at battle history, you can go back and you can watch matches again. I believe it keeps track of the last 10 matches you've been in. Hero Race is typically a little bit faster to play than Castle Conquest, um, as far as time-wise. Those are my thoughts and ideas for uh, the arena or PvP mode of Darkfire Heroes. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, or otherwise, please leave a comment below. I do stream on Twitch under Baron Blackbird. I also have a Twitter, and of course, I do the daily item review for the hero shop, or for the item shop here, in which I go over all the values of the offers that we have for the day. Um, any feedback would be fantastic, and until then, I'm Baron Blackbird. All right, take care, and I hope you enjoy Darkfire Heroes.